Hello everyone, this is Kivox. In this video, as some of you requested, especially Kung Fu asked me to make a video about it and I was working for a couple of days what to do and update the mods, check the new ones and figured out and some testing, trial and error, etc. So in this video, I will give you the load order, what you can do because there is no tool to fix the mod order like in PC we do have uh, we don't have it on the console so uh, we need to do it the old-fashioned way with uh, trial and error and everything so let's go into my mod list there's some simple rules that some uh, fixes goes on the top and some little change mods like uh, some AI mods or uh, markers, the locations, the map locations, discoveries like uh, Stones of Berenzia, etc. goes to the bottom. So um, if we start, obviously we have the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition bug fixes mod which uh, fixes tons of things like a lot of things and this goes to the top. The second mod that I'm actually surprised that the haste is removed, I guess, and I couldn't I figured out if it is still working or not, but uh, since you cannot find it anymore, I'm also going to delete that one too, so just skip the haste. And the second mod is Skyrim is stored. It um, gives us the things that has been cut away from the original game the npcs the locations some quest and this is a uh, just amazing there is also uh, weapons and all and they are all official things like the spells etc they are all official things it is just a mod that just restores that things and uh yeah we do have the access to the pre-alpha of the skyrim if you can, if you think it that way. So, for the PS4 users, if you are on the PS4, you need Skyrim at 60 FPS and it unlocks the frame rate limit of the Skyrim if you are on the fat PS4 or even the Xbox and uh, that you, that doesn't, that not able to run the 60 FPS. So this mod basically activates it. You can uh, just activate there is some little thing that you can do with that to tweak it a little bit. As the mod says on the right corner on the description, you can see. You can activate and in, go into your game and play on 60 FPS. Or if you are a trophy hunter, if you're not platinum, if you got, didn't got the platinum yet. Well, this is first of all shame, of course. But um, you can activate this yeah, and then go back to the main menu and let it reload the files, close down the Skyrim and then start Skyrim again and go back into the mod menu and disable the mod and then go back to the main menu, reload the files and load your game so your game will run at 60 FPS without the mod activated and with the trophies available for you to hunt. So it goes to the top as well because it changes everything else below that so you can think of it like that if it is something on top it just overrides the, the, the one on the bottom and it improves shadow and volumetric lightning and this is quite good mode it is lightning mode and lighting mode and this is very well you can use any other uh shadow some volumetric lightning mods and all but i just like that one you can see 160 byte as well and uh the next two mods is julia's dirt replacer and julia's rocks and mountains those two gives uh textures basically the texture mods is now coming into here 
we just it just uh, changes the environment very well the roads and everything and they look perfect they look amazing you need the Julia's Raksa Mountain and Dirt Replacer and the next one is unlike the improved shadow and vol volumetric lightning uh, the LA interior lightning overhaul or luminosity lighting overhaul so both of them is very good they conflict with each other you cannot use two of them so either you use one this one or the another one you can try both of them and see how it works i personally prefer luminosity because it looks uh, much more real but la interior lighting overhaul mode has some kind of a surreal lighting like this is complete the taste taste of yours and the next one is spell light dynamic shadows if the spell has a light that make the environment a little bit brighter and this works perfect with the shadows and everything so it goes to there to the lightning bottom of it because you don't want to conflict with the ones in here you know luminous lighting overhaul and yeah uh, imagine like it so if you put the spell light just above like this you will not be able to see the interior lightning because this spell light dynamic shadows is going to override the interior thing but if you do this way and put the spell light just below the luminosity uh, lum first thing that the game will prioritize is the in interior lightning lighting and then the shadows okay so keep in mind this is better and the next ones obviously the weather modes is uh i'm i like obsidian weathers they look perfect there's also another lightning modes uh weather modes and etc but i like uh obsidian weathers and there's a lightning like weather rustic weathers etc etc and uh yeah this is very good dynamic weathers and everything and horizons etc they look perfect with the obsidian weathers i highly advise you to use obsidian weathers and nothing else supreme storms and supreme volumetric fog this too basically changes the storms and uh, volumetric fog that makes uh, more realistic and uh, it doesn't have any performance issue there is no um, how to say stuttering or something like that that you do have with the other volumetric fog and uh, rays god rays etc so uh, when it comes and then the game is going to uh, stutter a little bit maybe the console can't handle or maybe the mods are conflicting with each other so these two works perfect the storm and everything is perfect volumetric fog is perfect and the next one is the darkness falls is basically uh, making um as it says darkness falls cloaks the land of skyrim and souls time in darkness during the night and um the darkness is really dark in night like you uh, it becomes so real that you need to have a torch to light around all right and this works just perfect okay and the next section of our mods is the little textures that we are going to have again and changes the way that they interact with each other okay in this case we do have skyrim is windy it just gives a wind wind effect uh to the things that you do have below okay and you can see the effects of it like the dense grass for example if you put the dense grass and like forest of skyrim or something like that so if we put the force right here yeah 
the Skyrim is windy mode is going to affect dense grass and forest of Skyrim, basically. So you can see um, the wind on the forest mode and the dense grass mode as well. But if you put the dense grass just above the windy, it is not going to work. You're not going to see any wind effect and uh, thing on the grass or vice versa. So dense grass, forest of Skyrim and Skyrim is windy goes there. And three of them is a must have, especially Forest of Skyrim is just an amazing mod. It adds a lot of trees to everywhere that you just walk around. And there is no bad thing if you see a uh, green environment around yourself. And um, we have Julie House again, two mods from him or her. And um, it changes the buildings like just an exterior looks and some city towns and something like that and um, it gives a much more better look of it julia's texture pack and julia's old town riften this too is my favorite i like it like i spent most of my time in riften and this is why i also have riften but you can have other mode if you have any other place or if you want you can have every mode for every city from Julie has as well and the next one is the water water and terrain enhancer and epic crystal clear water this two is actually conflicting with each other because they two of them both of them is changing the way of the water works in the game but um, it works perfect so water and turn enhancer what basically does is um it changes the flow of the water and all etc and the crystal clear water that you can see through the water like in real life you can see the bottom of it if it is not that deep okay so this two is perfect to use and there is some extras right now okay before we go to blow there is some extras like adding something to the world like lamppost of skyrim special edition or bridges of skyrim or a castle like a they make a home basically into an empty land land and uh, you can use the home etc so lamp post of skyrim basically adding the lamp posts to the roads to the corners when it needed and it lights around and bridge of bridges of skyrim there's uh, some places that you cannot across you know and it doesn't do all of them it just adds around 30 ish bridges to the game and the next one is my home, basically Deus Mons, the castle for the hiking. And you have everything in it, like a throne room, vault, and uh, relics. Like there's a dungeon under it, there's an enemies and all. You can go farm, kill enemies and everything. So this mod is very perfect. I highly suggest that. And obviously the midden under the mage guild, this is also a dungeon. And... Um, you can think of it like a quest line and this changes the way that the major guild does and it is huge mod huge mod and this is a perfect there is dungeons and all and i believe you will like the midden i think you can uh, uh this is the best mod that you can ever get for a quest dungeon thingy on a ps4 there's better ones on the xbox obviously but we don't have those kind of things because of the agreement of the Sony and the Bethesda in the mod wise. So the middle is very good. And the next one is a little bit UI tweaks and some voices like reverb and ambi ambience overhaul changes the sound, ambient sound and uh, in uh, areas like uh, sound of the rain. You know, uh, it becomes uh, much more realistic. 
you can hear the fire in indoors like much better more accurate placement sound if you are using 7.1 AVR or something like that and uh, this is perfect for a voice sounds so sounds notes goes there and then increase the blood amount amount it is kind of a UI thing so the blood opacity is determined by how much damage you do blah blah and you see more blood blah blah etc so this is very good and there are some character changes rain and snow effects basically when there's a rain your character get wet unlike the original skyrim so you can change it or you get snow on your armor or something like that and this is looking good 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 the next one goes to the ai realistic conversations with the npcs is going to the top of this section and the next one is immersive citizens uh, citizens ai overhaul it changes too much the way that npcs walk like it is changing a lot of things and uh you can see the people is wandering around like when you go out of the white run you can see people is actually living their life yeah this is what immersive citizens motto do, does and there's of course uh, all of them has a purpose they become uh, having a cycle of their work it is not a loop but you can see a thief is killing uh, the guards are trying to escape you can you can witness that 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 things in the original game as well without a mod but not like that okay it is nothing like it this is perfect and the next one Zeo's crazy dragons it adds uh, dragons and all so this section is basically an NPC related things or uh, non playable characters and if you think about it it just adds the crazy dragons like 50 60 i guess 70 maybe and they there's a lot of variations of the dragons and well we are the dragonborn in the game why not add some crazy dragons and there's a better horses mod it basically adds some um tweaks into the horses you can read the description if you want and uh they go away from the fight when you engage they run a little bit faster unlike the vanilla version of the game so it actually works using the horse instead of teleporting from one place to another by using the map map and there is two more thing that changes the way that you play with your character it is this big ultimate kills better kills basically and uh, it includes more kill moves higher kill move chance earlier decapitations and more decapitations as well like helmetless combat perks blah blah like um when you swing your sword yeah it is going to cut the arm of the NPC and you're gonna see the blood and everything because we do have increased blood amount above that as well so it is going to increase the blood amount and uh, you will get much more thing with this mod and I think you will like it the move chances able to get more than one kill move during a battle blah blah unlike the vanilla version this is good and from the big again more kill moves and decapitations so um they are kind of uh, working kind of same but both of them has a uh, more gore and something like that and two of them is working pretty much beautiful and then after this the map locations blah blah like all map locations discovered if you like something like that so you can see but there's still a little difference that you can see that um, if you went there or not yet. So when you travel, 
and then you actually discover but it still will let you to see the things on the map, the whole map, including the DLCs. You can see the location, so you will never ever miss anything in the game again. And Stones of Berenzia quest marker, I think there's 21 of them, if I'm not wrong. So you can see where they are in the map, basically. And the next one is marry almost anyone. Of course, you need to do the quest in the Riften to get the amulet of Mara. And then the NPC number that you can marry is increased to 750. Amazing. You can almost anyone. Almost. As the mod name says. And the next one is also works like a Stones of Berenzia, so you can put it this way, or you can put it this way, it doesn't matter in this section. And uh, the next one is Jupes, Opus and Arox cool quest markers in the location that I don't remember the name, let me see. Uh, yeah, Impatience of a Saint quest, like you go to the other world in the Vampire DLC if you remember. Uh, I don't want to give so much spoiler, but there's an actual new world in a DLC that you can travel. And this is quite annoying to find Jupes, Opus and Arvax cool. And it just marks it on the map, basically. And um, this is it. So yeah, Jupes, Opus goes below the Stones of Perenzia and the Mary almost anyone goes there. I'm actually thinking about putting the Mary almost anyone into here, but it is it is related with the NPC, okay? But it is not related with the uh, NPC AI or something like that. So it is kind of a extra mod that. Uh, are just giving you kind of an ability to marry someone. So it is working on the bottom and it doesn't have any conflict with any other mode. So you just put it into the bottom and leave it there. So those are the ones that I'm actually, okay, let me go to the top and go down slowly. So you can see the mods proper, like three, four, five, six, seven, seven mods. I'm using the luminosity. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there is 36 modes that I'm currently using. So you can see it basically the list right here. And... I believe this mod is going to change the... Okay, just delete the LA interior lighting because I don't need it. This mod is going to change your game so much if you never played with the mods before or if you never did them in a proper order. So this is very much proper order that you are going to play. Just an, as an extra, if you couldn't make it work the Skyrim at 60 FPS mode, just don't worry about it. Keep playing at 30 FPS or get a PS5. The original game on the PS5 has been upgraded to the 60 FPS originally by the developers. So know that too. If you are on a PS5, you don't need Skyrim at 60 FPS mode. Okay. So I hope you... Like the video, give thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below what you think about it. And see you guys on the next video. And I'm sorry for not making a Skyrim video for quite some time. And um, yeah, my apologies. And see you guys on the next time. Have fun and bye-bye.